There's over 28,000 PGA of America Club professionals. Only 194 identify as African-American. Wyatt Worthington is one of the 194. While attending college, he experienced prejudice and racism, which set Wyatt into a deep depression. At one point, he even considered suicide. Wyatt managed to fight off the demons to become only the second African-American to qualify for the PGA Championship through the PGA Professional Championship. We're here just outside of Albuquerque at the PGA Professional Championship. Surprising my good friend, my homie, Wyatt Worthington. BMW Charity Program presented by TD Sinex is offering an exemption for him to compete on a Corn Ferry Tour. He has no clue what's going on, so let's see how this works out. I know the history of Wyatt Worthington when it comes to playing golf professionally. We did the mini tours together. We traveled. We have great golf history together. Facts. But Facts. I, don't, I don't know if I know the, the beginning. How did you get started in the game? I was probably like around like eight or 10 and I got introduced to the game from my dad. I picked up one of his clubs and I hit the ball, very first one, got the ball up in the air and I was like, I'm hooked. One day, my sister was picking up like dandelions, grasshoppers or whatever, and I was working on my golf swing. And when I took the club back, connected with my sister, blood went gushing. And I was like, oh. <laughs> she was, you know, screaming bloody murder, rightfully so. And then, you know, my dad came out and like, yo, what happened? Like, I mean, panicked. And once she got stitches, I was like, I'm never touching the club again. I was a first tee of Columbus kid, and first tee of Columbus in the Tiger Woods Foundation uh, did a cooperation, and that's when I got a lesson from Tiger Woods, and then I came back in the full fronts to have this once in a lifetime experience from Tiger Woods that pretty much changed the concourse of my life. This is a man that is doing unbelievable things, right? In a sport that wasn't welcoming. I went to a college down south. Knowing this, like obviously, you know, being down south, things would be a little different. I had a pretty good junior golf career. Like at the time, one of my best finishes was like second in AGAGA. And I played, you know, junior worlds and all that other stuff. So like I had a pretty solid resume and I was one of the best kids in Ohio. I get to school. And the coach, you know, talks to me and says, I have to try out for tryouts. The tryout for tryouts. Try out for tryouts. So you think that was just specifically aimed towards you? To have a tryout for tryouts? <sighs> that I don't know. So I was like, okay, I'll take this on as a challenge. I tied the course record. So, I end up winning the tryout for tryouts, if that is a thing, right? And then I had the actual tryout for that, the tryouts in itself to play on the team, and I came in top three. When I did qualifying for the first tournament, I played with this coach, because he's like, I'm gonna play with this kid, like, who is this guy, right? And on the fourth hole, the coach said some language to me. Which you called you inward? I understand, like I was going in the South, but like the first time you're meeting the coach and he's, and he's throwing that out. Throughout that whole duration of college, I didn't play one college event, one. So was it fair to say that you had a bit of depression? Understatement, man. My purpose in life was just being taken away. I was on suicide watch, man. So how did you overcome that? I would say music really saved my life, bro. 
one of my favorite albums that got me through the good, bad, and ugly and in between. J. Cole just shares his whole, pretty much, you know, life and vulnerability and yet strength. Big fans of Jay-Z's music. I mean, he's my favorite rapper. I can listen to this for eons and eons. I always keep these in mind with me and they, they not only save my life, but they save me on the course as well too. So it's kind of a little, you know, double entendre, if you will. So, boom. Oh yeah. Everything that I've been through, like I've never had anything given to me. I always had to earn everything. And for me to go through all the experiences I've gone through in life, it just shows, you know, just me just being, just resilience in my DNA. Mm. Never giving up and just yeah. always gonna keep fighting, having that, you know, tenacity. We are 242 yards out, wind is out of the back, going right to left, slightly downhill. I was listening to my caddy. I believe he said it. there was a little bit of wind off the right to left. Yeah, and that kind of just. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, uh, good thing you can fire me. <laughs> <up here>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on the green. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm saying. How'd I get it on? You didn't even tell me good shot. You don't got my putt right or nah, anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't get the putt right on. Let me tell you my break. Hold on. Yeah, break towards the cup. Yeah, <laughs> break towards the cup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you yeah, didn't tell me how the greens are, man. You sure that was a spot? That was a spot. I think you, I think we left sure of it. You sure that was a spot? I think we left of it. All right, all right. I, I might be firing myself. I played ball stroll in 2016. What was that experience like? Crazy. Crazy. On so many levels, man. <laughs> like how? So many <laughs> levels, man. You have no idea on so many levels. From one lens, I look at it as finally, you know, a kid achieving the ultimate dream, you know, playing in majors. I saw the impact that I had on other people. That was crazy. It literally took me back to the Tiger Woods experience of like the feeling that I've been feeling like for my whole life. I'm like, yo, this is it. Like, I'm like seeing it. Having little kids come up to you and inspire to do the being that same. Bro, like, what more can you ask for in life? You right. know what I'm saying? Like, this is wild. That was one side of the lens. We got this kid making history in front of our eyes, but then maybe this could be a me thing, man, but like noticing, like, uh, you know, a couple bad apples will just spoil everything. And like, it seemed like the more notoriety I got, like the more not so pleasant energy I was getting back from like other people. And that made me even more guarded and be on my toes of like, how do I walk? How do I move around? Like, who's a friend? Who's a foe? I've been trying to put myself out there when it comes to the play world, and I've been very fortunate to accomplish some things. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, as soon as I have like these accomplishments on this side, then on the other side, like, there's going to be some people that don't like the things that you're accomplishing. I got a whole new perspective, right? I'm like, man, the bad apples, I'm like, why am I even giving you space in my head? You're gonna hate regardless, even if I do everything perfect. I just need to do whatever I need to do, have good intentions and spread positive energy. How would you inform kids to get through certain trials and tribulations that they might encounter? Try to have like a good, I call it a good tribe. Good tribe? Yeah, have a good tribe with you, man. A good support system. Resources, opportunity, and access. If we want to change the game of golf, like we need equity and we need equality. So in order to do so, like we need to catch up in those buckets. I'm going through the workforce still trying to achieve my dreams and all the things and hurdles I've gone through, like if anything, like people need to take notice. This dude has not only the game and skill level to play at the highest level, but he just needs an opportunity. And there you have it, folks. I 
felt the energy. I felt the energy. I was like, yo, what the? I felt the energy. I saw the shadow. I was like, hold on, bro. I was like, hold on, yo. I knew something was up. Spidey senses and everything. I was like, hold on, bro. So this is what's going on. Why y'all hit me with this? Oh, yeah. Hold on, I ain't done yet. Come back, come back, come back, come back. So, no. so obviously, you're on home course advantage, right? Wow. You remember I asked you about the date, June 5th and 8th? 8th, 6th, yeah, it was that week. You gave me something, yeah, yeah, you gave yeah. me something in June. Right. Yeah, you gave me so, something in June. So uh, my friends over at BMW are asking you. Don't do this, man. Yeah, dog. Don't do this, bro. They are don't do asking this. you don't do this. to come compete. Don't do this. And they're extending exemption. Bro, come on, bro. To the don't BMW do charity do program. You for real? Presented by Cinex. Come on, bro. You for real? 100%. Quit playing. This is Zimshio, you got your name on it. Bro. That's how, that's what all about. That's love, bro. That's what's all about. You for real? 100%. Like, if you got, I know how you be playing. I, like, ain't no, ain't no, there's no like LOL. This, no cap. No but here, here, there's kind of a caveat. <sighs> so, you know, this is the only tournament on the Corn Ferry Tour where the amateur and the celebrity okay. compete with the Corn Ferry players. Gotcha. You need a partner? I mean, because I'm coming in as a celebrity. Yeah, I know, pull I, up. As zealous as, pull up. as possible. Say less. But, Say all, less. all right, so I'm going to ride, I'm going to ride, which we're going to. Hey. You know, play it out and mm -hmm. hopefully win that joint. Yo, got me. Like, got me, got me. Dang. Yo, got me. Yo, you uh, know this is my first one ever. First what, Corn Fairy? No, like, exemption ever. Like, everything I got, like, I earned. Like, this is my oh, first, the first one ever in my life. Well, I, that makes that much more to me right there. And from you to deliver me this, like, come on, bro. Yeah, dog, we got more to go. Bro, I, like, real talk, man, like, thank you from the bottom of my heart, man. Like, this is, 